We've done many reports about this. It's no secret the Portland metro area is in the middle of a big housing crisis. Well, when it comes to new construction, most of it is nowhere near the urban growth boundary line. Our Chris Holmstrom is live right now, and he's digging deeper into that. Chris? And Jeff and Jennifer, I'm out here on Division Street, an area that has become trendy over the last few years. And with that comes rising home prices, prices most people can't afford. But it's areas like this that have grown the most. Drone video shows the edge of the urban growth boundary in Hillsboro. On one side, development. On the other, open land. Jim Middaw is with Metro. The Metro Council has expanded our urban growth boundary multiple times since 1998. Take a look at this map. The dark blue is a look at past expansions of the urban boundary. In fact, in the past 20 years, the boundary expanded 42 square miles. Enough room for nearly 50,000 single family homes. So we have vacant land all across the Portland metropolitan area, both inside our existing neighborhoods, but also on the edge of the Portland metropolitan urban area. So there's vacant land throughout. But despite the open land, since the expansion, well over 90% of all new homes were built inside the metro area's original urban growth. In fact, there are only 5,400 homes built on the edge, which leads to the question. Why aren't more homes being built on the buildable land? I think the bigger issue is we have plenty of land. What we need is more homes, and what we need for more homes are roads, bridges, sewer pipes, water pipes, schools, police. Public services and systems that cost a lot of money. Money, political will, uh, public support, all those things. And the Metro Council will continue to work with local governments and the public so that new affordable homes will be built in the future. Reporting live from Southeast Portland, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Coin 6 News. Chris, thanks.